A large state grant will allow for the demolition of a longtime vacant building. The former Worcester State Hospital site hasn't been used in years, and now a new biomanufacturing park is set to take over. Our Chandler Walsh joins us now with the details. Chandler. Olivia, the site, the site housed the Department of Mental Health Recovery Center until 2012. The 44 acres of land have sat unused since then, but are now being repurposed. The first major phase of work on Worcester's future biomanufacturing park is beginning. A $15 million state grant will allow the Worcester Business Development Corporation to demolish the former Worcester State Hospital's main building. This is important for uh, creating pad-ready sites uh, for the future industry to be developed here in Worcester. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito says it's a big step in a long-time vision to make Worcester a leader in the healthcare and life sciences field. We invented here in Massachusetts, we should make it here in Massachusetts. And this industrial park uh, for biomanufacturing will be a real catalyst for more opportunities like that. Demolition will take 9 to 12 months and is said to be a complicated process. It's a massive structure. Uh, there are uh, a lot of contaminants in the structure, in the areas of asbestos um, and lead paint that have to be remediated. Kevin O'Sullivan played a major role in the vision for the biomanufacturing park. He announced this week he'll step down as the president and CEO of the Massachusetts Biomedical Initiative after 20 years. He's seen the biotech industry take off in the city. Biotechnology and biomanufacturing, uh, back then people wondered, you know, what are they talking about? And uh, this is the evolution of a changing economy. The park will bring more than 500 jobs and expand the city's tax base. Chinese company Wuxi Biologics plans to be the first tenant. Having a company like this Chinese company come to the United States, we're the first site they're going to build here in Worcester, Massachusetts. What's that tell you about Worcester? WBDC says their next step is to begin a branding plan to bring future companies to the park. As for O'Sullivan, he's stepping down at the end of the year and plans to reconnect with friends and family from across the country. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.